Okay, so what I have here is a test setup, uh, and uh, it's going to basically test out Logitech's dark field laser that they have in here that they say will actually track even on a glass surface. So if you work in an office, uh, a lot of conference rooms may have something like this where it's, it basically it's layered a tempered glass over on top of a wood surface of some kind. So I couldn't find a thick enough piece of tempered glass floating around my house, but I was able to find two uh, pieces of glass uh, that uh, should, I think, simulate that nightmarish condition where you're in an office, conference room, and there is a kind of table with glass on top. And uh, most mice will not work on this kind of surface, and you're going to go scrambling around looking for a piece of paper or something to uh, have the mouse track with. So uh, we're going to basically set this up, test it out with a couple of different mice, like my Performance MX. Well, with the Master MX, maybe my uh, TechNet uh, mouse, maybe also the uh, Microsoft Ergonomic Sculpt mouse, and we'll see um, see how they perform. All right, first up, I have my TechNet uh, Bluetooth mouse over here, and I'm going to, I have a Sketchbook Pro up and running over here, and so I'm going to basically position it at a certain point. Now, uh, the mouse does track a little bit. I'm not sure if you can see that here, but if I can kind of wiggle it around, it does track if I do small increments. But now if I start moving around, it's going to start losing. It does, it actually has a rough time with it. It actually kind of kind of loses track. But as soon as I move over more, it's completely lost. All semblance of where I'm at. So this is kind of like the typical condition you run into if you're trying to work on a glass surface and the mouse just isn't going to track through the glass layer. So, so this one has some performance but not very good so we're gonna go and now take a look at the sculpt ergonomic mouse I'm gonna take the little dongle USB receiver out put this back in and we'll plug this in on the side here all right turn this on and first I'll make sure it works on regular surface here good okay so now we'll see how this works or doesn't work on service. Let me just clear this. Uh, let's see. If I get a new document, don't save it. All right, here we go. So I'm actually having a hard time even positioning the mouse. But so as I try to draw, it doesn't even it doesn't even pretend to track or barely even tracks at all on this glass surface. So the glass here pretty much pretty much inhibits this thing from really working. Well, it kind of does a little bit but it really can't get much bearing so once again this is one of those other nightmare scenarios and just isn't going to work so the ergonomic sculpt mouse doesn't perform too well over a layer of glass so now i will move on to another one um, let's see i actually did not pair up my uh, performance mx uh, with the unifying connector so i'm going to do that i'm going to stop the video briefly i'm going to connect that up and then we'll take a look at how well that performs okay so now I've got the unifying adapter plugged in over here. I had the unifying software installed on here, and I paired it up. So you can see here that um, I'm gonna on this on this on the base of the desk surface here. You know, it's able to kind of work just fine, and we'll now put it on the glass surface and see how well this works. So and you see, it it kind of works. Seems to work okay to some extent. Uh, it actually works better than most, uh, so it, it does, the Performance MX does an admirable job, but it has a couple of snafus in a few spots where it sticks. Yeah, so a few spots where it sticks, but for the most part, this mouse actually works quite well on the glass surface in comparison to the other ones uh, that we've looked at so far. So ultimately, the last one I want to look at is the MX Master. So let's take a look at this guy. So I'll turn this guy on, and see it's, uh, it picked up device one over here. Make sure it's working. Yep. So on my regular surface area here, it works without a problem. And so now I'll put this on the glass, and see how well it works. It performs very very well. Actually, it's it's a lot better than the MX Performance mouse. Indeed, it actually works very very well. So, as I kind of get my hand out of the way here, see that I'm kind of moving on the glass area here. 
is able to track very, very well. So it really is not much difficulty working on a glass surface. So very impressive. Uh, I wasn't sure what to expect from the dark field laser, but it proves that it definitely is no slacker even on a glass surface. So look at that. So all right, there you have it. A nice look at how the Master MX truly is a master of all surfaces. And, uh, well, works just fine on the typical nightmare surface of glass over wood, or another surface at least. So, if you have any questions about uh, this particular test, or think something you want to see, uh, let me know. Thanks for watching.